And we're back again. Third episode. Still. We left it. Hans was on his last day in Pattaya. Him and his two friends were about to fly home. Gretel is with him in the morning. Gretel. They have breakfast. They chat more and more. She's given him everything he needs. She says that uh, they hook up Messenger, Facebook and Messenger. She helps him. He hasn't got a Facebook page. She sets his Facebook page up and tells him not to use it apart from Messenger. She's got Messenger and they'll talk through that. She'll talk him through the process of how he comes across and moves and everything. Now he does tell her in this breakfast meeting, which is a bit strange, that this is all great, but there's one thing he wants to tell her and that it, he does not do physical aerobics and this contact. This was a little bit of a surprise to her. However, she says, that's not a problem. We'll work something out. <laughs> they get on so well. She says, I'm now going to go. We'll talk over the coming months and we'll figure all this out together. And this is just music to his ears. She's just taken the role on of his new mother in his head, and I believe in her, her head as well. Lunchtime comes, they say goodbye, she kisses him on the cheek, gives him a big squeeze hug, and said, this is going to be fabulous, our new life together. And he's like, he's just, it's as if his just, mother's just giving him his pocket money and he can go off to the shop and buy some sweets. He's uh, over the moon, over the moon. Anyway, off she goes, goes and packs his stuff, meets up his two friends. They've got a taxi booked, pays up everything he's got to pay. Oh, and he paid Gretel. He gave her um, about 5,000 baht for her expenses, plus he paid her room and all the food and things. So. Um, yeah, two friends, they jump in the taxi and then they start talking about their fabulous holiday, what they got up to, and they asked him about the woman he was with, they saw her in the morning with, and he just sort of said that he met this wonderful woman and uh, they were going to talk, and he left it at that. He thought, I, he, luckily, or a good idea not telling them what was going to happen. Flew back home. First thing he did, back to his apartment. His Philippine wife was out of work. For the years they'd been married, she'd been saving money and sending it to the Philippines and she'd built her own house. He immediately got onto his sister and said, are you home? And she said, yes, and he went round to see her. He, he drove, he had a beat up old car, didn't like spending money. Um, and over all these years, He'd managed to save about 20,000 euros, 20,000 pound, 24,000 American dollars, 40,000 Australian dollars. And plus he had furniture and bits of jewelry and things. He went to his sister and he told her that he was getting divorced. He was selling his apartment. He was gonna get rid of his Philippine wife and he was gonna to move to Thailand and live with a new met woman he's met. Now remember, he didn't get on with his sister. She just laughed at him and said, fine. He asked her, could he use her address for all his postal and uh, the uh, pension, everything, through her address, and she said, yeah, no problem. He said he'll start all this process and get it all figured out. Now his pension was due to start in about three or four months time later by this time so he pretty much knew what he was going to get and his pensions when he'd been doing the lawyers with the divorce he'd been talking to them and they'd explain to him what he was going to get 
and maybe he'd got some financial advice from someone, but he, he, he got the information that what money he was going to have. Next thing was the divorce. So a day later, his Philippine wife was at home and they sat down and she said she wanted out. He said he wanted out. He didn't tell her about Thailand. He said that she could have everything in the house, put it in a container and ship it to her house in the Philippines. She was over the moon with this offer. And she said, that would be great. He said, we'll sell the apartment, we'll pay all the legal costs, and he would give her 40% plus the furniture. 40% in cash to her bank. And his apartment was um, probably gonna sell, well, we know later on, it sells, sells for 320,000 euros. Moving forward, this is all agreed. It puts the apartment on the market, gets a buyer, and it takes three months to four months. Now in this three or four months, he's speaking every day to Gretel, and Gretel is walking him through the process. How does she know the German process for getting a visa to go to Thailand, um, for getting this nominee immigrant visa to come across and then get a retirement visa? She knows it all well. Maybe she's researching how she goes. Maybe she has Farang, foreigner friends who talk her through it. But she passes this all on to Hans. He goes through the process of going to a Thai embassy, getting his non-immigrant visa. He's got himself a, he's, he's got two years, one and a half years left in his passport. So he'll just renew that later on. He gets his visa sorted. Gretel also finds a house in Kanchanaburi, bridge over River Kwai area. A two-story, three-bedroom house with a reasonable sized garden. She sends him loads of pictures and she's got this house off a friend for 8,000 baht a month rent and says that he has to pay a deposit of six months and a couple of expenses, 50,000 baht deposit. That doesn't sound right. No, I know it doesn't sound right at all. 50,000 baht deposit, including, uh, not including the first month's rent. So 58,000 baht. He's over the moon with the house. It looks fabulous. She sends him photos of um, Kanchanaburi city. It looks great. Everything's put into place. The apartment sale goes through. The Philippine wife, all the divorce goes through. The day of the sale, monies are transferred to her. She's moved everything out by a removal company and sent it to the Philippines. They shake hands and say goodbye. They're divorced. There's going to be a few months for the absolute papers and things, whatever it is in Germany process to come through, but it's done and dusted. He's got his pension sorted out, his German pension, and it's going into his German bank account. He's got his other pensions activated. And the house of the apartment, after everything's done and dusted, he cleared 130,000 euros into his bank. He already had 20 savings, so he's got a 6 million Thai baht in his bank account, the equivalent. 150,000 euros, 150,000 pounds, 180,000 American dollars, 300,000 Australian dollars sat in his German bank account. He's got his Thai visa. A one-year non-immigrant O multiple entry visa in his passport. He shook hands with his Philippine wife and said goodbye. He walks out of his apartment. He books into a hotel. 
over the next week he gets all this pensions, monies, everything sorted with the help of his lawyers. He leaves his job, he retires, he's done and dusted in Germany. Everything's set. He's got his airplane ticket booked. Gretel has handled him and all the ins and outs perfectly. She's been an angel, she's helped him with everything. Hans still has no idea about Thailand, about the culture, the language, nothing. Hasn't got a clue apart from a two week holiday in Pattaya. Never even been to Kanchanaburi. Sells his car, goes to the airport, flies from Manchester via uh, Middle East, lands in Bangkok, and Gretel is there to meet him. He walks through the arrivals area, comes through customs and everything comes through the final doors and there's the barrier in front with everyone and he spots Gretel, walks through, she comes up, kiss on the cheek, gives him a big hug. He's got two big suitcases with him, she grabs one and off they go to her a car. It's a bit of a beat up saloon car, they put the cases in there and on the journey to Kanchanaburi probably two hours, two and a half hours with her driving, she explains that the car's the sister's. Uh, she doesn't actually own a car herself. Um, and they have a wonderful drive to Kanchanaburi. Gretel had already explained to Hans that he needed some tie bart in his pocket when he arrived, so he'd only changed maybe $500 of euros of uh, money into Thai bar. They get to Kanchanaburi and the city is beautiful. And he loves it. It's just, he hadn't seen a Thai city before. Patio really wasn't the type of city like the cities outside um, around Thailand. So he was very pleasantly surprised. They came around through the city to just on the edge and it was a gated community where this house was. A security guard with a gate. And she explained to him about this, that you've got a little um, button to open the gate if the security is not there. And you check in and out of the security and all the houses in this community had security 24 hours. This he thought was fabulous. She also mentioned that there are other foreigners living on this estate and they drove in up to the house. He looked at the house for the first time in the real flesh and it was quite similar I suppose to some German houses. Two story, three bedroom, it's like a three meter garden around the outside and a bit bigger at the front. Um, with an, again, another electric gate, another button. In she drove, gate closed behind. And they spent, um, it was an early morning landing, so it was lunchtime when they got there. She'd already got some different foods in that they'd been chatting about on Messenger, what he likes and doesn't like. And there was basic furniture in this house. So, <laughs> He checked into his new house with his new girlfriend. Her stuff was already there, her clothes and things. And she'd been living in it probably for a, a week or so. He'd, I forgot to mention that he'd sent the 58,000 baht needed over to her bank account. Simple transfer to pay for six months rent in advance, plus the one month rent or whatever. It worked out at seven months rent or a deposit of six on one month rent. There was a basic fridge, there was food in there. She'd found some foreign food that he likes, his German 
frankfurter sausages and found some different she'd bought different breads for him to try she'd covered her she'd really done a good job she just set it all up walk in basic tv and a basic sofa basic bed the house was not really furnished a, a little bit furnished but it was enough to to start this was day one of Hans new life as a retired expat living in Thailand ah <laughs> should we finish it there now let's carry on a bit hey I'm just enjoying this just getting into it So that, that's, that's sort of day one, he's arrived. But let's not call that day one, let's call the next day, day one. They slept together. Um, bit of a cuddle and that was it, and he'd already told her he's not into the aerobics, only into solo aerobics. That she found strange. Um, anyway, day one morning she walked him around the house around the garden they walked around the estate no swimming pool no swimming pool never mind she explained that she knew some of these people on this estate that was convenient how did she know them whose house was this hmm and that quite a few of the foreigners were into golf they were into tennis they were into swimming they were into cycling they were into all sorts of sports but there's no real meeting place for all these people not at this moment mentioned anyway the heat immediately even though he'd been to pass here for a couple of weeks the heat here seemed hotter he had some nice clothes with him, but he could immediately feel the heat. Health-wise, Hans was pretty good. No real problems health-wise. 64, 65 years old. He had private medical insurance back in Germany, but now that's all about to expire. Gretel had already got all this covered. She knew everything he was going to need. She was like a wonder woman, amazing woman. And she said, right, we need to sit down, hands, and we need to work out what you need to make life easy for you. Now you're retired, what you need legally, what you need for health, and I need to explain all the systems and this will take a few weeks and she had a prepared list not only in Thai in English but in German as well she spoke no German but she had it all translated in the different languages almost like a book like you get when you check into your hotel day one health insurance these are your choices this is what's going to cost this is what you get like a sales package and one of the first things was health there you go bang and now he was like he was just flabbergasted he was amazed this was perfect this was his mum setting things out for him health insurance you need to get this 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 cost I recommend you do this, this, this. And I have a friend who is an insurance agent who will fix it for you. And he says, and the cost is about, uh, let's say 40,000. We're going to talk in Thai Bart throughout the rest of this story. And you can do the conversions. 40,000 baht a year. Health insurance, got everything covered there's the package and he says perfect okay we'll do that 
but that's no look let's go for the bit better one let's go for the 50,000 box it gives you extra access oh black box okay so, but fine if you think that. let's do that she says even if we don't work out you'll need this okay she says but first you need a Thai bank account we need to get an account open so you can transfer money backwards and forwards and pay for everything and you need money here my twin sister works in a bank she's an assistant manager in the bank ha huh. that's convenient we'll go to her bank and we'll open you a second bank as well so you can have one for bills and then one for cash flow she's clever she's really really clever okay fabulous that's page two bank account health insurance we really and this is day one this is day one remember guys oh actually come on i can have some fun with this one come on right put you imagine now you're turning to page three four five six and so on give me your input comments below what are those pages going to be that she's going to spit out on day one two hands what's she going to say to him what's she going to and what's the total going to be for all these pages come on i'm just itching to get your reaction comments below come on let what do you think she's going to she's going to list out the things he needs and he's got to spend in the first day one put your comments below <laughs> don't miss the next episode I'll see you soon. Put those comments, come on. What else does he need? <laughs> Ta-da.